Over the last few years, bicycle wheels have got wider and wider, and the width of tires that people are using have got wider as well. Now in my head, a wider wheel and a wider tire would be slower, because surely there's more friction, but this is not the case. And luckily, I have a friend who's an engineer and who makes wheels who can explain this for us. So my first question to Dov from Parkour is why are wheels getting wider? Why are wheels getting wider? Why are wheels getting wider? It's like a weird tongue twister. So from a wheel designer perspective, now that we're no longer using these and we're moving to disc brakes, it's opened up a whole new avenue of design because we're no longer working with the constraint of having to fit between the brake pads. So what that means is we can start to accommodate wider tires. We know that wider tires run at a lower pressure will reduce rolling resistance and make riders both faster and more comfortable. So from a wheel manufacturer perspective, from a design perspective, we want to be able to accommodate those wider tires. Okay, that makes sense. But what has that got to do with the wheel? When we think about wheel and tire compatibility um, and performance, there's a couple of elements to consider. The first is the inner rim width, so the spacing between the sides of your rim where the tire sits. Now, with a wider tire, you need that rim width to be slightly wider, so it allows the tire to open up fully, because otherwise you have a really wide tire which is then pinched together at the bottom by a nice narrow rim and you end up with a light bulb effect. So the tire won't roll as it's designed to. It needs to be allowed to open out to its full width. Then from a performance perspective, um, if you're thinking about aerodynamics, the other thing to consider is the outer rim width, whereby you need the wheel or the rim to be wide enough so that when the airflow comes off the front of the tire, the rim can start to recapture it, reduce the turbulence and therefore reduce drag. So historically we've worked with a rule of thumb um, referred to as the rule of 105, which basically says that broadly speaking, you want the rim to be around about 105% of the width of your tire in order to maintain aerodynamic efficiency. It's not quite that simple, there are little nuances to it, but generally speaking, if your rim is narrower than your tire, you are going to notice a detriment to your aero performance. So in order to maintain that aero performance, keep the drag nice and low, you need a nice wide rim externally, and in order to maintain the performance of the tire and make it sit correctly, you need a, a wider internal rim. So what's gonna happen? Are wheels just gonna keep getting wider and wider and frames getting more and more clearance until we're riding like super MotoGP style wheels? I mean, ultimately we could all end up riding around on fat bikes. Um, no, so there comes a point where the tire width stops having an impact because what we now know is that the wider tire allows more deformation over a rougher surface. But there comes a point when you've reached the max deformation that you need over a surface like tarmac. Exactly what that point is, I don't know, but I know that we're probably getting close to it with a 28 mil tire. Maybe it's 30, maybe it's 32. But at that point, going wider on your tire isn't going to save you on the rolling resistance. So if as a wheel manufacturer, we're designing around that width of tire, again, there comes a point where you don't need to go any wider. So if you use the rule of thumb, you go to 105%, then maybe we're looking at 35, 36 mil widths. But if you suddenly put a wheel that is 40, 45 mil into a wind tunnel, it's gonna come back slower because you've got to the point where you're no longer helping recapture the air from the tire. You don't need to go any wider. You're just forcing a wider object through the air which is going to create more drag. So I think we're, we're learning as we go, but as an industry, we're probably getting close to the limit of what you would need on the road. Off-road and gravel is a whole different ball game. We know that there are much wider tires, but let's be honest, if you look at a gravel tire, it's gonna have knobbly tread, and that's about the worst thing you can do aerodynamically. So I think from an aero perspective, aero gravel wheels, is that a thing? Arguably not. Um, therefore, you're looking at the right width of wheel to suit the tyre in terms of the inner width of the rim. 
And I think that we're, we're getting there. That's a much easier thing to define. So over the coming years, we may look at going a bit wider, but there comes a point of diminishing returns where you get to too wide. So we're getting close. Well, that all sounds good to me. I like riding wide tires because they're more comfortable and to know that they're not any slower is definitely a good thing. These are my uh, road wheels that I'm riding at the moment and I'm riding a 30 mil tire, even though the rim is designed to work best with a 28. So you get a little bit of light bulb effect but not that much. And to be honest, if you're not racing, I'd rather go for more comfort. You can run really low pressures. The British potholes don't feel so bad. And yeah, they look cool as well. As always, a big thank you for watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions for Dov, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if it's a big topic, we can cover it in a video in the future. Please like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys soon.